Anthony Schreiber, the original vehicle hunter here. Today I'm looking at a uh, 2007 Infiniti G35X. The X in that means all wheel drive. And there's a Facebook group that I advertise on. Maybe once a quarter I'll post that I'm a car guy, I like to buy old cars, do YouTube videos, and then find a good home for the car. And so the woman who is the admin for that Facebook group reached out to me and said, you know, I don't normally allow posts like that, but I have a car. Uh, so she told me about this Infinity she has, and she said it was overheating. She said, you know, they still drive it around town, it, you know, it runs fine, but they've had it for a while, it's got 174,000 miles on it, and they don't plan to invest any money in it. They got a new car, um, so she asked me if I wanted it. And my answer whenever somebody asks me if I wanted a car is, of course. You're damn right I do. Uh, what time is it now? I can be there in X amount of time. So this is a 2007 Infiniti that came to me for free. Um, the woman just wants to make sure it goes to a good home. Again, it's a common story. People bond with their cars. Even though they're inanimate objects, people have brought their children home from the hospital in their cars. They've traveled across the country in the cars. They've gone through college in their cars. People do bond with their cars and they start to feel like you know, the car is almost like a pet, the same kind of a bond you would have with a pet. Um, so I guaranteed to her that I would not part this car out. I would not scrap it. I would find somebody who can get it back to its optimal condition and keep it on the road as long as we possibly can. So that's what I intend to do. Um, it's a beautiful car. It rides great. It's sporty. It's got leather. It's got a moonroof. Um, it is a 3.5 liter V6. 24 valve engine um, and it moves out and it's got a nice growl to the exhaust um, and I think whoever winds up with it um, basically what you have to do with a vehicle like this is just tell them look it has an issue that I cannot uh, I can't diagnose I can't find so I'm gonna sell it to you as if the car is broken now you might be able to get a couple of years use out of it without having to invest anything but if in three months something's wrong with it, you can't say I didn't tell you. And hopefully the only type of person that would buy a car with that caveat is somebody who's not afraid that when the problem presents itself, they'll be able to handle the problem. Or somebody in their network will be able to handle the problem. Or maybe they just have a ton of money and they want to throw money at the problem. Whatever. My karma will not allow me to just sell the car as if it runs perfectly. I have to present the issue and let somebody make an educated decision. And so the idea with this car is get it into the right hands of somebody who if something does go wrong, they can handle it. But if something doesn't go wrong, then they've gotten themselves a nice deal on this vehicle.